and let us all that we can to build a better future. Shout out to the people who are still keeping the story alive and has to deal with mm-hmm. the deplorable verdict that happened to uh, Stephen Donziger. For all of you who don't know who Stephen Donziger is, Stephen Donziger is the heroic uh, lawyer who actually got Chevron, uh, again, with with the courts in Ecuador, to basically pay $9.5 billion. Now, of course, uh, Chevron, being the slimy corporation that it is, avoided it, and since then... Uh, Stephen Donziger has been under house arrest and has now been recently sentenced by Judge Preska to serve six months in jail. Uh, but however, he still has defenders. He has a lot of supporters. And shout out to, again, musician, activist, organizer Roger Waters mm-hmm. for, uh, you know, Pink Floyd co-founder uh, leading the way to, again, keep this story alive. Because, again, Stephen Donziger didn't commit any crime whatsoever. So Pink Floyd co-founder and activist Roger Waters has told RT that a six-month prison sentence for a disbarred environmental lawyer, Stephen Donziger, is unfair because he has already mo- because he has already more than a year under house arrest. Donziger represented farmers and indigenous people of Ecuador who sued the Texaco Petroleum, Texpet, for contaminating the soil and water in the country's rainforest region between 1964 and 1992. In 2011, an Ecuadorian court ordered Chevron, a California-based oil and gas giant that brought TaxPet in 2000, to pay out $9.5 billion. However, Chevron filed a counterclaim, and U.S. and U.S. judge refused to enforce the $9.5 billion ruling, saying that Donziger secured favorable vi- uh, verdict through bribery and witness tampering. The lawyer, who has been under house arrest since August of 2019, was charged with contempt for defying a court order to hand over his computer and other electronic devices, and last year was disbarred from practicing law in the state of New York. On Friday, he was sentenced to six months in jail. An unfair sentence, I might add. Donziger, who denies any wrongdoing, has many supporters, including his friend Roger Waters, co-founder of Pink Floyd, the rock star and activist told RT this week he thinks the ruling against Donziger sets a dangerous precedent. And it does, because then... Mm -hmm. Okay, continue on. The verdict raises the question of whether the law is available to all of us all members of society, irrespective of depths of our pockets of our uh, political connections, Waters said. He also goes on to say this, this is a quote uh, from the article as well. Donziger spent 791 days now under house arrest, and it's way too much punishment because all he did was deny Judge Lewis A. Kaplan access to his computer and his cell phone uh, to give those two pieces of equipment to Chevron Corporation, who are the people whom he's fighting this battle against on behalf of his clients. It'd be completely contrary to uh, all, the, all the rules of attorney-client privilege if he had done that. Last week, Donziger, last week, a UN expert panel called Donziger's detention arbitrary, arguing that he has already served the maximum possible penalty on his charges some four times over. Waters said it would be fair for Chevron to compensate the Ecuadorian villagers in accordance with the ruling Donziger had won in 2011. The singer quoted a local environmental activist as saying that the oil company's actions were tantamount to a very slow motion mass murder. Chevron, however, argues that TaxPet had already done its share of cleanup, uh, and the rest was the responsibility of Ecuador's state oil company, uh, Petro Ecuador. The government of Ecuador oversaw the certification, uh, the successful uh, completion of TaxPet's re- uh, remediation, and fully released TaxPet from further environmental liability. Chevron said on its website, Petro Ecuador, however, failed to conduct the cleanup it promised, and has continued to operate and expand oil operations in the former concession over the past 20 years, which I say is a corporate loophole and a, a cop-out. I don't see why Ecuador just go, well, you're not going to, you're not, you can't operate. I don't know. It's probably more complicated than that. It just, it is sad. But here, here's, here's the point that what Roger uh, Waters is saying. This is a warning. What's happening to Stephen Donziger is a warning to us all. And we're seeing this happen under a Democratic presidential administration, mind you. This is happening under the Biden-Harris administration, where you here you have a lawyer who did the right thing, who also protected his clients, because again, as an attorney, he has to protect their information as well from being used in a horrible manner, mm-hmm. which is what Chevron was going to do. Uh, he is put on the chopping block. And, that should, and what they're trying to do is scare anyone else for making sure that they don't have a repeat of what Donziger did. Donziger is a hero that we should all admire and follow. Donziger served so much time under house arrest. I only could think about all the times he's missed with his loved ones, his kids, his wife. You know, and granted, he's under house arrest, but think about all the events he couldn't uh, join. Think about all, all, all the things that he's missed out on. Two years under house arrest. 
It, might, it was a true nightmare for this man, and all he did was the right thing, and that is help out the indigenous people of Ecuador and also shine a light to the pollution and destruction that, again, Chevron refuses refuses to pay up for. Chevron needs to pay that amount. Chevron needs to understand that it can't buy our government, but sadly, because we have such a corrupt system, thanks to the Supreme Court of the United States for Citizens United and McCutcheon's decision, where money is speech and corporations are people, corporations like Chevron can do this to heroes, like Stephen Donziger. And that means future whistleblowers, future journalists are at risk of also being put on the chopping block. This is a threat to free speech. This is a threat to activism. This is a threat to our direct democracy. Democracy. And Roger Waters is correct because this does set a dangerous precedent. And at least he's out there speaking truth to power. Kira. Yeah, I mean, it also, it sets a horrible precedence for litigation, right? Mm -hmm. You know, because litigation is what I'm told is how we, uh, how people get their upcomings. Yeah. And if litigation doesn't work, then what tool do we have um, when that time comes. So that, that's one thing I just wanted to add to, to your fantastic list there, Kit. Um, but then also, I just wanted to point to how important it is for celebrities and people with big names to highlight stories like this, mm -hmm. because these stories are the kind that definitely fly under the radar. Um, I think mostly because, um, A, obviously, like establishment media doesn't really want to highlight mm -hmm. um, these sorts of stories. Um, where pe the people are, are being empowered and here's how to do that, you know? Um, but also uh, because it take, takes place in another country and, you know, we, we're pretty American centric yeah. um, here. And uh, so we don't tend to like turn our head when we see something from Ecuador. Um, so I think that it's great that uh, uh, Roger Waters came out and said something. Also, Roger Waters puts on a fantastic show. I did get to see Pink Floyd um, uh, perform and it was phenomenal. Yeah, uh, well, Roger Waters has been by his side since the very beginning and so have been numerous other activists and uh, we here at Harlan's Media call for Donziger to be free immediately, for this uh, ruling that the judge has made to be reversed immediately as well. This is a clear uh, violation of really what, what it means to do the right thing in this country now. And Donziger committed no crime. That's a fact. He committed no crime whatsoever. And it's quite clear that the judge in this ruling had a clear malicious intent to punish Donziger 100%.